Queen Elizabeth II. Queen Elizabeth II. To uh, take a note to the monarchy, I'd much rather take a, a note to the uh, Canada. The idea of swearing allegiance to her repugnant, three longtime permanent residents are calling for the citizenship oath to be struck down, and they've taken their case to Ontario's top court. To me, Queen Elizabeth, or in fact a queen, or any queen or a king, symbolizes inequality, symbolizes that some people are born with privilege. I want to be real to Canada, I want to be loyal to the country, I'm trying to become a citizen, uh, not a subject. Lawyer Peter Rosenthal argues it violates their religious and conscientious beliefs. We are asking the court to find it unconstitutional and require a remedy that doesn't interfere with the constitutional rights of our applicants. The part of the oath that's under fire is I swear that I will be faithful and bear true allegiance to Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II, Queen of Canada, her heirs and successors. So what do Canadian-born residents think of these words and would they have a problem saying it? She is the head of state. She is the official head of state for Canada, so I would have no problem saying it. I do think it's interesting because I think it is sort of irrelevant to our society now. If I came from a country where, like, there's a history of the Queen, like, oppressing people or monarchies oppressing people, I might have a problem with it. Her heirs and successors. Those representing the federal government argue the oath has been around for ages. Nothing forces permanent residents to become citizens and nothing stops them from opposing the monarchy. The government has already said that it will take this case to the Supreme Court of Canada if it loses before the Ontario Court of Appeal, meaning even if successful, any exemptions could still be one to two years away. Outside of Osgoode Hall, Amanda Ferguson, City News.